Oh my god, look at all these race car parts. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? So today I'm with CR Zach. What's up, As guys? you can see, we're gonna, um, I'm actually buying his wheels for winter wheels. So, uh, I'm gonna get these type Essers and then put these to rest. That and then, I don't know, these tires are pretty, pretty bad. I mean, not really. It's just that one on the left. Cause I did get, uh, three new tires for the back and then the, this side, but I just don't feel like dealing with the other one and like doing all that stuff. So I'm just gonna get these for winter tires and then, uh, I gotta change my oil, and then we're just gonna see where the day takes us. So yeah, come along with me. All right, I'm about to go grab this oil. <laughs> so my car's uh, the daily, so I'm just gonna get this crap, I don't care. I used to put royal purple in it, but I'm getting a new car here soon, so it doesn't matter. Should I straight pipe my car? They say no. Oh my god, look at all these race car parts. Oh my god. Uh, a, B, C, D, F, G, H, um, Honda. Honda. Look, look, look what exact page I turned on. XG7317. Mars yeah. Alright, if you guys can find the filter right now. Uh, you win a million. So you know we got that, uh, the K and N. The wrench off, of course. So you know, uh, wait, let me see. The wrench off. Hey guys, so if you don't know, I got the uh, VTEC installed, you see? Oh, it's a <laughs> <laughs> That would have been so bad. <laughs> Low key. Bro, do you, um, do, you, uh, do you pass that driver's test? Um, yeah, dude, I just, I don't know how to drive automatic, though, you know? Jeez. Shut up. Bring his nose, like. Yeah, put the seatbelt on, man. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, look at this. See that? Backfire. They're like go on my uh, flex pipe and it'll just explode. They'll be like, boom. You know what I'm saying, don't you? Uh, All the cars that I reviewed just can't can't amount to what well, this car roads. You know what I'm saying? This thing's fucking. Why don't you give us a little backfire? So uh, I got the carbon fiber trunk out of here. Now it's time to just start doing everything. We're gonna swap wheels, mess with the trunk. <laughs> but uh, yeah, should be cool. All right, so we got them all jacked up. We're getting ready to take all the wheels off and uh, see what she looks like. You already know, Slam Society, boy, Slam Society. All right, so we uh, got all my wheels off. Almost got all the Type S wheels on my car. Let's see. Looks pretty good. Then we're gonna go to his house, grab some tools to put this thing on, and then, uh, yeah, she should be like a brand new car. All right, so he's almost done with that. And then uh, we're gonna go grab his tools. I'm gonna put my mud flap on because I fell off. Um, and then, yeah, basically before the winter, I need to get some new tires. And then I got a cool little set of uh, winter wheels. It actually looks pretty cool. Let me show you guys. Looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna get that. Gotta get my lip put on, the trunk, and then dope. 
daily. That and then I gotta change my oil, but I mean, I don't think you guys are too worried about me changing my oil. That's pretty sure everybody knows how to do oil. But like in the car world, it's you drain the oil, take out the filter, and then it's all gone. So the oil change is all done. Um, got the trunk off too. I need to clean my engine base, dirty as hell. Now we just gotta install the trunk. We're uh, putting all the pieces together right now from the old trunk. There's like little, uh, we gotta take the lights out. We gotta get these little bumpers for when you shut the trunk. We gotta take those off, the lights, the backup lights. Um, and then these uh, rear what that? tag lights. So that's pretty much it, we're almost done. So we're almost done. We just gotta drill four holes for this in here. Yeah. There's two little things. We gotta drill some holes right here and right here for this uh, third brake light. And then uh, we're pretty much it. Pretty much done. Just gotta install it and we're good to go. Pretty easy. So we broke this one piece, but I have a uh, epoxy. So I'm just epoxying it right now and it's it's pretty hard and then like a couple pieces chip so we just went around it for real and uh should work once it hardens it'll be like it, this already feels like it's not moving so once that hardens up a couple minutes slap this bitch back on and there's also like three other bolts up here so i'm not really worried about it Alright, got that on. Now we just gotta wait a couple minutes for the uh, stuff epoxy to dry. Alright, so the current part of the trunk is on. He just gotta finish wiring up that stuff. And then, uh, pretty much good to go. Alright, so we uh, fixed the, the trunk. Basically, we just had to, here, watch out. We had to uh, adjust the, the hook, and we're good now. So here's what it looks like. It's all done, it's been installed. There's a few things I need to touch up on, but don't mind the carts, it's super dirty. I also gotta fix this. Um, I guess it's because it's uh, not a USDM trunk, so that or just they just made it weird, I don't know. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, I like cheddar cheese. Uh, with a big turbo build, and uh, I ended up developing crank walk in the engine, uh, which destroyed a brand new clutch drivetrain. Um, so I pulled the motor out.